in the world of symphony orchestras, Maestro Cheng Ye is celebrated as the first conductor ever to simultaneously lead both a Western and a Chinese orchestra. And I find the Shanghai-born conductor extremely expressive and full of passion. He currently serves as a music director of the Singapore Chinese Orchestra and is well known for his distinctive style and programming. And what's interesting about him is that he's quite experimentative as he mixes up the chairs to break that conventional seating and sounds. CGTN's Mira Liu finds out how he has helped the orchestra gain international accolades. What conductor needed to do is first of all come up with a music interpretation from the score. Where it needs to be strong, it will be soft, and emotion is cold and devastating. And that kind of thing is very important because that's the purpose of music. So when you have more than 80 people or sometimes like 100 people, you need to somehow coordinate all the things together in their intonation in their tone quality, in their emotion, to put all together, then lift up, go to the audience, move them. My history with SEO is actually started rather dramatically. At the end of 1980s, I took a music director job first in South Bay, Indiana. After years, I started to develop international career. I started to guest conduct in Europe, different repertoires, and I started to get interested in the contemporary music and ensemble music, all kinds of music. Then I draw into the Chinese music. I actually had many questions to a Chinese orchestra. What type of repertoire are they going to do? How to, uh, do they tune together? Then I said, hey, maybe I can bring these questions to Singapore. First of all, repertoire. So I start to commission new pieces. I start to set go what the piece should be. Can we find a composition that uh, reflective of Singapore character? I brought composers to visit different places in Singapore. We went to Indonesia, Malaysia. Gradually, I was able to commission a large pile of new pieces but immediately exposed the next task, the orchestra. How to gel the song together, to change the tone quality from harsh, pointy, to bouncy, round, nice, flexible. It take many years together. And then particularly where they sit on stage too. You know, traditional Chinese orchestra sit is like a, a man's uh, hair, divide here. <laughs> <laughs> this side is, uh, is uh, our whole uh, the bow instrument, the other side is plucked instrument. I mix them together. Now I place all the bow instruments, so our whole, zhong hu, in front, then cello bass become a semicircle in front of me. That kind of song to wrap up to orchestra. This become our SEO selling point worldwide, is the SEO sound. Round together but not like a symphony orchestra. Very uniquely Chinese and the standing up, not lay down like a, not there, 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 dum, dum, dum. So the first piece, the old Shanghai, was originally commissioned by me for a silent movie called Goddess. That actually is part of my effort to develop different genre of uh, re repertoire. Instead of just, uh, you know, mi, so, ra, ni, da, 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 di, da, 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 the Chinese orchestra actually play many different things. These kind of music help me to train the Singapore Chinese orchestra from this level to this level, to this level to that level, and help me to reach audience from this to this to this to that to everyone.